Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Quickshot 14's blog, video blog. My apologies for being gone this weekend. I have, uh, as you probably can still kind of hear, been fighting off a really bad sinus cold, so I'm finally starting to feel better. Uh, was able to actually play something yesterday. In fact, after I made my blog post on, uh, I believe, Friday or Saturday, you can probably hear it. I was uh, not doing so hot. But feeling better now. Um, got back to playing. i am actually been playing some Might Magic 9, as you can see here. For those of you keeping track of my WoW main, I did try to play WoW this weekend, and I just could not focus. I couldn't focus on anything. I couldn't focus on modding. Not even this. So, <clears throat> excuse me. If you do hear me coughing or clearing my throat throughout the video, I do apologize. I'm still getting over this. Uh, if you are just looking forward to my WoW content and what I've been up to with my main, I did play a little bit of her last night. Uh, you will want to skip over to part three of this video blog for that. The first two parts here are going to be, well, covering what you see in front of you, which is my Magic 9. I've kind of been uh, enthralled and enthused to play this again after so long. <clears throat> Excuse me, by uh, RPG Genie genie's video videos uh, that he's been posting of gameplay content I've been watching some of his older my magic games which I've, I've played pretty much all of my magic games uh, from basically two and up to nine and I, the reason I never played nine is for those who are not familiar with uh, my magic nine is it was released right before 3do uh, the parent company at the time that owned new world computing and the rights to my magic back in 2002 uh, closed its doors, so it was rushed out uh, of production with, uh, I believe the programmer said there was still a good two to uh, three months of 12-hour days still to be done uh, on the game. So it wasn't really released uh, top-notch. There was even a patch, a mandatory patch that came out at the time of hitting the store shelves, and uh, even then, it still was pretty buggy. Uh, I played it pretty, pretty well uh, at the time it came out, up to a certain point, and then there was some bugs involved that just didn't allow me to play anymore, so I, I just I put it back on the shelf and I haven't played it since. I tried to take it out, uh, oh, I believe a few years ago, but there were some video driver issues, and I thought at that point it was pretty much unplayable. Uh, so I never really uh, gave it a second thought or second look until I started watching RPG Genie's videos, and uh, he was pointing out uh, a new, uh, uh, or not really a new community patch, I guess it's been out for a couple years, but a community mod patch to help fix most of the major bugs here uh, to at least make it playable. So uh, I've been giving it another shot and enthralled by his videos and, and what it is. And if you really want to see what my Magic 9 really looks like uh, and not accelerated at normal speed, a complete gameplay walkthrough, I would highly suggest you go take a look at RP Genie's page on YouTube. You'll, you'll find one of his videos, one of his latest videos, favorited on uh, my list. Uh, go check it out. Watch him through. Uh, Take a look at the game. If you feel like you want to play this or check it out, you should be able to find it pretty easily on Amazon.com. Pretty cheap. Uh, if not, and just as Might Magic 9, probably a part of the 3DO Ultimate Collection, which is Might Magic uh, 4 through 9. And uh, go ahead and check it out. I love Might Magic. For those not familiar with its play style, it is a party, or a first person party RPG. And what that means is that you are in a first person uh, view, as like most RPGs are, uh, especially nowadays, are in third or first. But instead of just being one person, you're actually a party of people. And you can kind of see that on the left. And what I love about this game so much, and Might Magic in general, is not just is not really the dungeon crawling or the exploration or the items and things like that. I think it's the character uh, customization. The game really is about your party members and your characters. Uh, you really have to focus on them. You really have to do it. And we're not talking just items here or a little bit of skills here and there. Uh, creating a well-balanced party and knowing what you need to have in order to be success successful will determine really how well you do in the game. In fact, you might have noticed at the beginning here, I was going to get the bow skill for one of my members that didn't start with it. And I had to get him a bow because actually just before that, when I tried to go down into that Beethoven sewers, excuse me, uh, he didn't have the bow skill, and I got killed pretty easily. And so I went, I took the time, what little money I had, what little gold I had left, and uh, got him the skill and bought him a bow and put him down there, and I breezed right through it after that. Um, the game is very casual. That's probably the thing I like the most about it. That's why I played it so much yesterday. I totally wasted this barrel. I thought it was luck. Um, <coughs> pardon me. 
you can pretty much sit down, play it as you will, as you want. Um, it's as casual as you want. It's pretty freeform. It's not as open-ended as a lot of other Might Magics were. Um, it is using the Lift Tech engine. If you're curious what engine it's using, and the Lift Tech engine is pretty solid. It's a very old engine, especially nowadays. Uh, for those of you not familiar with what it's been used for, probably the most common and most noted uh, game it's been used for, the Lift Tech engine, is uh, System Shock 2, which was an RPG uh, uh, action style game. So you know the engine is is pretty solid. Uh, What's been done in the game still has its glitches. There are still bugs. Uh, there's always a possibility in some certain areas, especially if you're wandering on the dark, you're going to find a little crack, a little area in the world that will make you thrall through the world. If you watch RPG Genie's, Genie's videos, you'll see that happens to him every now and then. But honestly, the game is still a lot of fun. It's not the best RPG. It's not the worst by any means either. I would suggest anyone who really wants uh, an RPG experience on the PC, especially an old school one with, uh, with a party, which you really don't see much anymore that you can create from the get-go uh, to go for. And I think that's the thing I like the most about it, is I can create my, car my characters for my party, all four members at the get-go. I can choose their race, their class, and their names. I can put custom names. In fact, I've named them all, as you can see, names of my uh, family and friends. <clears throat> as for the classes, classes were done a little different in Might Magic 9. Um, they were all pure uh, upgrade classes. So basically, when you start in character creation, you get to choose between m m might and magic. <clears throat> I guess they were trying to go f for something more in line with it. At first, I didn't think this mechanic would work very well, but honestly, it gives a lot more open-endedness to your characters, because um, even though they're pretty limited when they first start, I mean, obviously, magic area characters can use magic, and might cannot, but the up there's plenty of upgrade classes to go through. Um, on the magic side, there's a total of uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The six total, um, and they're all choices. So you have two different tiers. Your, your first upgrade tier is two choices between the magic side, which is uh, scholar or healer, and then from there, scholar can upgrade to a mage or a lich, and then from healer, it can upgrade to a priest or druid. And on the uh, might side, they can upgrade to either a mercenary or a crusader and then from there upgrade from on the mercenary side assassin or gladiator and then from the uh, cru uh, crusader side uh, from to a paladin or a ranger so there's a lot of a lot of options there and what's wonderful about that too especially for the uh, might side is that once you get those upgrades it will open up the uh, ability for as you'll see in some of these l later videos I do believe um, if not maybe in some other videos uh, it does open up the ability for your might players to actually start using some magic in some way, shape, or form. So it's really wonderful because it pretty much balances out and it gives you the opportunity to use uh, some limited spell uh, casting and stuff on your might players later on. So, as you might have noticed, I do have uh, as starting characters some magic, two magic, and two might. And I did kind of messed up on my upgrades a little bit. I was going to make uh, my dwarf Joe there, uh, third one down. <coughs> Excuse me, a. Uh, a mercenary instead of a, a crusader, but I accidentally put him on the crusader quest. I got the crusader quest done first, so now he's a crusader. Whether or not I can still upgrade him to assassin, I'm not sure. Uh, I hope so. It would be nice. If not, it's not a big deal. I'll probably just make him a paladin. Uh, but again, th having the magic for y your uh, your might might players uh, later on is always a good thing. Of course, once they do have their magic abilities open and everything, you are going to have to go back, find the skill books uh, for them and to get them to train in those uh, magic abilities and of course the spell books as well as well as the skill books uh, so if you have any extra and you know you're going to update them on that part I would just hang on to them if you can if you can't no big deal sell them you'll have plenty of money you should be able to buy them or find them very very easily <clears throat> um, I spend most of my time pretty much going through um, um, characters and everything. When you're not actually dungeon crawling or doing quests and spending, you're spending money on your characters, obviously. But it's not just items. Um, and a lot of them, a lot of RPGs, period, you probably spend a lot of your time item hunting uh, and everything. Probably the thing I like the most about my magic is it's not exactly item hunting. I really, I have not, besides that bow I bought at the very beginning for Joe, I have not spent anything on items. Not a thing. So I've been spending it all on skills and upgrading their skills from trainers and things like that. And there's a whole, whole slew of things 
that that you, you'll find them that I like about this. Again, uh, this is a pretty much Might Magic 9. Part 2 will be covering Might Magic 9 as well. If you're interested in just WoW content, please skip straight to, WoW, uh, to uh, Part 3 of this vlog post for all the WoW goodness that I did yesterday. And uh, we'll see you here in Part 2 for some uh, more Might Magic 9.